I wanted to do this upgraded video of an older video that I did on a natural um, antibiotic concoction. Now, anything that I say is not meant to replace your medical care. Check with your doctor before implementing what I'm about to show you. So I'm going to give you a formula um, of something you can make. It's a homemade drink that you'll take at the first sign of sickness, whether you get a tickle in your throat or you feel run down or you go through a stress event. That's when you're going to take this, okay? Now, a couple of things you need to know. Uh, when you take an antibiotic, um, realize that only kills bacteria. It doesn't kill viruses. It doesn't kill candida, fungus, things like that. What you're going to be taking is you're going to be taking an antimicrobial remedy, okay? And we're going to borrow um, these powerful chemicals from plants. Now, plants have been developing these sophisticated, amazing chemicals that have all sorts of properties for a long time before humans. And plants can't run away. So here they are stuck in the dirt. And so they are forced to develop all sorts of defense mechanisms to help them survive against a huge battle of not just bacteria, but funguses, viruses, pests, etc. So what we're going to do is we're going to tap into their chemicals, use them for our benefits. So this is not really an antibiotic. It's an antimicrobial. So it's antibacterial, antivirus, antiparasite. And there's going to be a lot less side effects than an antibiotic, which creates antibiotic resistance. When you tap into the antimicrobial effects from plants, you don't get the same resistance. Okay, you don't get the side effects. You know, when they talk about herbal remedies, they they classify them as alternative medicine. But honestly, pharmaceutical companies get a lot of their ideas from plants. The first form of medicine was from Mother Nature. So, from my viewpoint, it appears that modern medicine is really the alternative to the original form of medicine, which came from plants, Mother Nature, and natural remedies. Now, just realize too, if you get a fever, for example. You don't want to try to run out and get some uh, medication to try to suppress the fever right off the bat because a fever is part of your immune system response and your immune system is your greatest weapon against infections. A lot of people don't talk about this. They don't emphasize it, but your immune system is really what's going to fight this thing off. All we're going to do is use natural compounds to enhance our immune system defenses. So if you start taking things to suppress a fever, for example, you may find that the infection stays around a lot longer, okay? So it's gonna be harder for you to resolve this situation. Now, the next thing is the most important thing. So if you checked out, check back in right now, this is very, very, very important. Um, stress, okay? If you're going through stress right now, which you probably are if you're sick because stress always is the thing that triggers a lowered immune system. You must do whatever you can to reduce the stress. Why? Because stress activates cortisol. In the presence of high levels of cortisol, your immune system cannot function. It gets put on pause. And that means that pathogens can very easily invade your body. So this whole thing with cortisol and stress uh, must be resolved. Also realize there's a natural form of cortisol that you can also tap into, and that is vitamin D, which is not really a vitamin, it's a hormone. So the more you can expose yourself to the sun or take vitamin D, the better the immune system will work and you'll get the effects of cortisol without all these side effects because vitamin D does not paralyze the immune system. It modulates it, it uh, controls the overreaction of an immune system, but helps improve the immune system at the same time. It increases your immune system's ability to fight back. All right, so we're gonna be using several things that we're gonna blend in a 16 ounce mason jar. And you're gonna keep this in the refrigerator and it's going to actually get stronger and more potent over time because it's gonna ferment. So you're gonna be using garlic, which has a certain phytonutrient. In fact, it has like 33 additional sulfur-based compounds that directly help as an antimicrobial. So garlic is the most important thing. You also use ginger, which is a very potent antimicrobial. You're going to be using turmeric. 
which is probably number two after garlic in its antimicrobial effects. And it's the curcumin in turmeric that is going to help you. And then we're gonna also use apple cider vinegar, okay? Now in the first video I did, um, I recommended using two cups. I found that's, that's pretty strong, okay? So we're gonna use a lot less, but apple cider vinegar is going to help acidify your system to the point where your phagocytes, those little guys that help clean up infection and help fight microbes, you can stimulate phagocytes through acidification. And then we're gonna use a whole lemon with the peels, the outside and everything, you're gonna blend it. That's gonna give your very potent vitamin C complex and the bioflavonoids to help the immune system. So you're not gonna just use lemon juice, you're gonna use the whole lemon. And then in this mixture, you're going to add a very specific type of honey called Manuka honey. Now, in the first video, I didn't recommend it. In this video, I'm going to recommend it. Not a lot, but just some because of its very, very powerful antimicrobial effects. So the benefits or the pros of using this honey uh, far outweigh the cons uh, as far as it breaking your ketogenic uh, plan because this honey has a very interesting chemical called MGO, as well as hydrogen peroxide that can really speed things up for you. So this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna take 15 cloves of garlic. You're not gonna have to put them through a garlic press because you're gonna put them right into the blender, okay? So 15 garlic cloves, take a whole lemon, an organic lemon, stick that in the blender. Now we're gonna take one tablespoon of turmeric powder. Then you're gonna create a fourth of a cup of ginger. So you're gonna take some ginger, you're gonna shred it on a grater until you get about a fourth of a cup. You're gonna put that in the blender. It's gonna be very, very spicy. Now you're gonna take a fourth of a cup of this Manuka honey, pour that into the blender. You're gonna also add one ounce of extra virgin olive oil. Why? Because this oil is gonna help you extract the fat soluble um, plant-based compounds that are in these plants. Now you could instead use coconut oil if you want, just use a heaping teaspoon of that, put it in the blender because in order to extract fat soluble compounds, you need fat, just like you'd put oil on your salad because the carotenoids, plant-based chemicals in your salad are fat soluble. So they need fat to be able to break them down. Okay, now we're gonna add three ounces of apple cider vinegar, put that in the blender, and then add a cup of water. Now you're gonna blend this for about one to two minutes. And then you're gonna pour it into the 16 ounce mason jar. Okay, and then you're gonna finish it off with some additional water until you're about a half an inch from the top, okay? Now you're gonna seal the jar completely tight and put it in the refrigerator. Now you could start using this immediately, but just realize that the longer it's in the fridge, the better it's going to work as far as the potency goes. And then at the first sign of a sickness, whether it's a tickle in the throat or you're feeling run down, you're tired, you're gonna take a shot of this drink, okay? And then you can also take an additional four shots spread out through the rest of the day. So there you have it, a natural antimicrobial drink. Now, the next most important video for you to watch would be on the immune system, okay? So check out that one right here.